hi today now we are going to see the transformer ref restricted earth fault protection relay testing okay this is our relay you see speed protection relay 870 transformer earth fault k64 okay, this is the relay okay, this is p5 u20 relay p5 u20 relay and this is test block okay, now we are going to see the connections okay you see this is our rf scheme okay. you see the three phase ct and then rf ct and rf ct all are parallel with the metro cell and even through the resistor through the ttb from ttb it is going to the relay so this is our REF protection scheme CT this three phase CT and then one neutral CT parallel with the metro cell and going to the relay to the TTP. This is the CT connection. Okay, this is the software for the Schneider P5 U20 relay. So is a setup pro version 4.1.0 this is the software okay now you see this is the ratio it's 4000 bar on a CT ratio okay. now we need to test the relay okay our earth fault earth fault protection setting is on then our value is 0 0.2 200 milliamps and then trip time is 0 0.03 okay now we are going to start this relay testing okay now for testing purpose we need to take the feedback okay you see 5051g1 start okay now we are we are using the b01c this is the spare output so we can configure this output just you select here then, then select this then if you go top side right you select the right okay. it is right selected okay this is our omicron cmc 3 phases okay, this is our feedback and this is our current injection you see our terminal is 26 and 28 only two wires okay. this is new troops current this two for the relay power supply okay. this jumper this is jumper this is our connection This is our relay. Sixty-four RE protection relay. Okay, now we are injecting for measurement. Take the measurement. So for the measurement purpose, we are injecting on amps in the IL one. Okay, now we check the reading in the relay. You see, our CT ratio is four thousand bar on amps. So our measurement is. 3997 point okay this is our measurement okay. okay this is ramping okay you see our setting is at fault setting is 0.2 200 milliamps so our pickup is 0 0.200 milliamps and our drop drop off is 190 milliamps because drop off ratio is 95 percentage so it means 95 percentage means it is 190 milliamps okay so that we are gradually increasing from 190 milliamps to 220 milliamps for the pickup and then for the drop off 220 milliamps to 150 milliamps for the drop off okay now we start the injection you 
see the our actual pickup is exactly 200 milliamps and drop off is only 89 milliamps okay this is our pickup and drop off for the fault function okay next now for the tripping we are taking same start contact because the area of protection is the instantaneous no time delay so that we are taken directly start contact as the trip contact we are considered start as the trip so we are configuring here same start as the trip so we are given same output okay then now we are check the tripping you see the our actual pickup is exactly 200 milliamps and drop off is only 89 milliamps okay this is our pickup and drop off for the fault function okay next now for the tripping we are taking same start contact because the area of protection is the instantaneous no time delay so that we are taken directly start contact as the trip contact we are considered start as the trip so we are configuring here same start as the trip so we are given same output okay then now we are check the tripping our setting is 200 so now i am injecting two times so 400 milliamps You see, for actually, nineteen point seventy milliseconds is the our tripping time. 